वेलकम फ्रेंड्स दिस इज सोम चौहान फ्रॉम इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ लैंग्वेज टीचिंग इंग्लिश मीडियम बी एड कॉलेज राजकोट आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द चैप्टर यूनिट टू पॉइंट टू पॉइंट वन करंट टीचर रिक्रूटमेंट प्रोसेस फ्रॉम द सब्जेक्ट सी सी फॉर स्कूल पॉलिसीज एंड एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन फ्रेंड्स फ्रॉम दिस यूनिट आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द एग्जाम टेट वन and that two that one and that two in this chapter we will discuss the exams exam pattern and criteria of candidates who intend to be teachers in gujarat government we can see on the screen that gujarat government conducts two exam for teachers in gujarat government those exams are tet and tat now tat means teacher eligibility test and tat teacher aptitude test now we will learn that what will be in these exams as we discussed about two exams tat and tat tat is divided into two parts tat 1 and tat 2 tat 1 if anyone wants to be teacher in standard 1st to 5th so you should give tat 1 now tat 2 if anyone wants to be a teacher in standard 6th to 8th so you should give tat 2 now tat is also divided into two parts tat 1 and tat 2 if anyone wants to be the teacher in secondary and higher secondary then you should give tat 1 and tat 2 so friends we can understand that the exams like tat 1 and tat 2 are for primary sections and tat 1 and tat 2 the exams are for secondary and higher secondary friends we can see there are four exams now it's uh, very much clear that uh, tat 1 is for standard 1st to 5th tat 2 is for standard 6th to 8th tat 1 is for standard 9th 10th and tat 2 is for 11th 12th now we will see tat 1 tat 1 and tat 2 both as well as whatever exams will be discussed which exams are based on mcq pattern that is multiple choice question question will be asked and you are supposed to choose proper answer and there is not a system of negative marks also in tat 1 and tat 2 tat 1 and tat 2 which exams for primary section in those exams there are 150 questions and weightage is also of 150 marks so we can understand that each question will be of one mark let's see in detail that how many subjects you should learn as we discussed that tat 1 is for standard 1st to 5th for tat 1 first of all the most important thing is eligibility criteria if you have the completed ptc means primary teacher course so you can apply for the exam tat 1 if candidates have completed graduation post graduation as well as bed but they haven't done ptc so they can't apply for the exam tat 1 now come to the subjects which you have to study first child development and pedagogy means child psychology second language 1 gujarati third language 2 english fourth mathematics fifth environmental studies there are 150 questions 30 questions will be of each subject means there will be 150 questions and each and every question is of one mark so there are 100 15 questions so there will be 150 marks candidates will get 
वन एंड हाफ आर टू सोल्व दिज पेपर नाउ पासिंग क्राइटेरिया इज फिफ्टी परसेंटेज दैट मीन्स इफ द पेपर इज ऑफ वन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी मार्क्स सो कैंडिडेट्स विल हैव टू गेट सेवेंटी फाइव मार्क्स टू क्लियर दिस एग्जाम इफ यू गेट सेवेंटी फाइव मार्क्स और मोर देन सेवेंटी फाइव मार्क्स देन यू विल पास फ्रेंड्स यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट इफ यू विल पास द एग्जाम दैट डजेंट मीन यू विल गेट गवर्नमेंट जॉब एट द एंड गवर्नमेंट विल सिलेक्ट कैंडिडेट्स रिगार्डिंग वैकेंसीज सो ऑब्वियसली गवर्नमेंट विल सिलेक्ट टॉप कैंडिडेट्स सो वी विल ट्राई दैट वी कैन गेट मोर एंड मोर स्कोर नाउ फ्रेंड्स वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट टेट टू विच इज फॉर स्टैंडर्ड सिक्स टू एथ Eligibility criteria है graduation and बी एड सो यू कैन अपियर फॉर टेट टू वट एवर क्राइटेरिया आई हैव टॉल्ड दैट इफ यू हैव कम्प्लीटेड योर ग्रेजुएशन एंड बी एड सो यू कैन अप्लाई फॉर द एग्जाम टैट वन एज वेल एज टैट टू दैट मीन्स इफ यू हैव कम्प्लीटेड ग्रेजुएशन एंड बी एड सो यू कैन अप्लाई फॉर द एग्जाम टेट टू टैट वन एंड टार्ट टू फोर टार्ट टू पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन इज रिक्वायर्ड नाउ वॉट आर द सब्जेक्ट्स वी हैव टू स्टडी इन दैट एग्जाम्स टेट टू इज डिवाइडेड इन टू टू सेक्शंस सेक्शन वन विल बी जनरल सेक्शन मीन्स कॉमन सेक्शन एंड सेक्शन टू इज अ स्पेसिफिक सेक्शन रिलेटेड टू योर सब्जेक्ट दैट मीन्स इट विल बी दिस सब्जेक्ट Related to candidates' background, like section was is a common section for all candidates. Let's see that uh, what uh, is in section one. Here we can see on the screen that uh, section one is of seventy five marks and section two is also of seventy five marks. We will discuss later. And the total marks of both sections are one hundred fifty marks. There are three subjects in section one. which you have to study first child development and pedagogy second language english and gujarati gk means general knowledge and current affairs friends each and every subject has 25 questions and each question has one mark means there are 75 questions and there will be 75 marks now here is the section 2 regarding candidates background there will be subject if candidates belong to arts so they can choose any language that means they can choose specific language like gujarati hindi english sanskrit and also they can choose social studies there are more options for arts background if candidates belong to science stream so they can select either mathematics or science if candidate has done graduation from commerce field so there are limited options for those candidates so they can select only one subject social studies so you will have to select the section 2 regarding your background studies and there are 75 questions and each and every question has of one mark means the total marks of section 2 are of 75 marks and you will have to get 50 percentage means 75 marks for passing friends i have told you about 75 marks it's not only from section 2 but 75 marks are combined with both section so it is not necessary that you will have to get 50 percentage from each section for example if you got 30 marks out of 75 in section 1 but from section 2 you got 60 marks out of 75 so your total marking are 90 marks that means you have more than 75 marks and then you will have to get all over 50 percentage from both sections for passing 
Now let's see the exam TAT. TAT is divided into two parts TAT1 and TAT2. TAT, TAT1 is for secondary section 9th and 10th. TAT2 is for higher secondary section 11th and 12th. Now let's see the detail of TAT1 and TAT2. Friends, whatever I have told you in TAT2, same TAT is divided into two sections and the eligibility criteria is graduation and BA in TAT1. Means, if we have already discussed that if you have done graduation and BA, so you can apply for the exam TAT2 and TAT1 and for post graduation must be required in TAT2. Now, the exam pattern of TAT1 and TAT2 is same. So, we have presented combinedly here. Section 1 is of 100 marks and section 2 is also of 100 marks. If we connect both sections, so the exam will be of 200 marks. The duration of this exam will be 3 hours. Let's see that uh, what are the subjects in TAT1 and TAT2. In section 1 you can see on the screen. First, general so, knowledge, teacher aptitude means that regarding psychology. Third, logical reasoning. Fourth, Gujarati language. Fifth, English language. So, there are 100 questions in section 1. So, there will be 100 marks of section 1. In section 2, it will be asked of 80 marks out of 100 marks from the main subject regarding your background studies, which we have discussed in TET 2. There will be 30 questions of 2 marks means there will be 60 marks and rest of there will be 20 questions of 1 mark means there will be 20 marks so the total question of your main subjects are 50 questions and marks will be 80 and at the end the last subject is about method of study there are 20 questions of 1 mark and this subject method of studies is taught in B.Ed. For example, how should you teach students, how many methods of teaching, types of teaching method, etc. So friend, we can see total that uh, there will be 100 questions in section 1 and there will be 70 questions in section 2. If we will connect to that to the questions of both sections are 170 and the total marks of both sections are 200 marks and the passing criteria is 50 percentage means you will have to get 100 marks friends i tell you again that uh, there is no requirement to get 50 percentage section wise we also have discussed uh, in TET 2 now there is a question uh, that uh, is uh, asked like uh, is TET 1 necessary for giving TET 2 and uh, before giving TET 2 it is necessary to give TET 1 so friends it's uh, not so required these all exams are independent if you haven't to give exams like TET 1, TET 2 and TET 1 even if you can give TET 2 if you have criteria uh, for the exam so there is no connection among these exams it's okay if you will give exams so you cannot get a job directly when Gujarat government has requirement then Gujarat government has will declare vacancies and means uh, you will fill up the form if you have clear the exam so it is necessary to give exam if you have cleared the exam at that time you can fill up the form and you will be selected okay tet and tat 
uh, when you fill up the form you will give your de full data in which you will have to submit the result of that and that and regarding your forms it will be created merit to and based on merits whatever candidates will be topper who will be selected now how will be counted merit let's see here we can see on the screen a uh, merit of tat2 tat1 and tat2 now let's count the merit of tat2 okay graduation weightage is 20 percentage 5 percentage will be counted of post graduation again post graduation is not compulsory for tat tat2 the weightage of your exam tat2 is 50 percentage if we take hypothetical example in which i will assume percentage you will count your merit by adding your marks if you have completed ba in graduation and you have got to 60 marks if you completed post graduation means ma and uh, you have got 60 percentage and you have completed your ba you have got 80 percentage now if you have gave the exam of that to and you have got 75% uh, marks so let's count the merit yes we will we give 20% weightage to graduation and it will be around uh, 12 marks we give 5% weightage to post graduation means uh, the 5% of 60 marks are 3 marks we give 25 percentage to be ed so you have got 80 percentage and the 25 percentage of be ed is 20 marks and last 50 percentage of marks of tat 2 will be counted so 25 marks will be counted to so total of marks are uh, 60 marks it is uh, your merit it is your average percentage when government needs teachers at that time like this merit will be counted and the top up will be selected then after your document will be verified and you can get the job thank you friends